Very good morning to you. Welcome to my thought for the day. We're looking today just at two verses in Luke 17, verses 20 and 21. Um, it says, it reads, Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, Jesus answered them, The kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, nor will they say, Lo, here it is, or there. For behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you, or is within you. So here is another question coming from the Pharisees, the religious leaders um, who opposed Jesus in many of the things that he was doing. And this is dealing with a very deep-seated, preconceived idea that the kingdom of God was bound up with the kingdom of Israel or Judah or the kingdom of the Jews, the land, the nation of the Jews. And this was a, 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 a concept that was so deep rooted. Everybody thought that when the Messiah came, he would restore the kingship to the throne of David and it would be a physical kingdom the Romans would be thrown out. The rulership of the appointed king anointed by God would happen and they would have a glorious uh, period when the kingdom of God was restored. And it's evident throughout the time that Jesus came and dealt with the people that what he brought with him was not what they were expecting. We can see from the Old Testament why they thought the way they did. The promise was always that David's uh, seed would sit on the king on the throne of Jerusalem and that the land would be ruled um, under God by a descendant of David. But the kingdom of God that Jesus brought was a kingdom that is not in this world. He said it to um Pontius Pilate, when Pontius Pilate said, you are a king then, when he was trying him, Jesus answered him, my kingdom is not of this world. Jesus did not come to establish a physical kingdom here, but he did come to establish a kingdom, a rulership of people who belonged to his kingdom. And there's a very big distinction there. Um, I've thought of it like a bit like this, that we are really those who are born again, those who are followers of Jesus, who are part of his kingdom, who acknowledge him as their king. So we are in his kingdom. He is our king. We live in a world that is not our world. We are fifth columnists, if you like. That's quite difficult to say. Fifth, fifth columnists. We are people who live under somebody else's rule, but we are we have our allegiance to a different king, to the to the to the ruler of this world. Because this world is a fallen world. And until the second coming of Jesus, it will be controlled and ruled by the enemy of our souls, by the devil. Uh, because of what happened in, in Eden, because of the fall. But Jesus comes to each of us and establishes his rule in our hearts. And it says here the, that the kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed. So Jesus is saying the kingdom of God that I'm bringing is not going to be brought about by outward signs. There's not going to be big wars and big conflicts and uh, and uh, upheaval and outward signs. No, the kingdom of God is in your midst, is within you. I think both translations are true. In a sense, the kingdom of God was amongst them in the person of Jesus. He was the core and is the core of the kingdom of God. And wherever he went, the kingdom of God was with him. And he was able to say to many people, the kingdom of God has arrived, it's come, it's come. Sign up for the kingdom. Come into the kingdom.
But there's also the sense in which the kingdom of God is within us. For those who are born again and filled with the Spirit, the kingdom of God is inside. And it's manifested by the things that are done by the people who belong to the kingdom. So he was challenging their very concept of what the kingdom of God was all about and when it would come. He was saying, it's arrived. It's arrived, but it doesn't look the way you expected it to look. It has arrived. I have brought it with me. It's here. And the kingdom, the rulership of Jesus is here. And we are part of his kingdom. And I think many people miss this. They still think that they should be part of something that is established on this earth. And yes, we want to spread the kingdom. We want more people to come into the kingdom. We want to claim this world for the king. But the true um, manifestation of that will not happen until Jesus comes again. So that's my thought for the day. Have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.